uh, Spider Headquarters. Uh, we live in a semi-rural environment and um, we've had the same next door neighbours for quite a long time but a few years ago a new couple moved in and uh, we've kind of had chooks around us for a long time but never right next door and the couple that moved in next door the breeds bantam chickens and they're absolutely gorgeous and there's quite a lot of them and he's got two roosters and they compete like crazy and make all kinds of uh, rooster noises at all sorts of times of the day particularly very early in the morning I kind of get used to that I don't really mind that very much a little while ago a few months back um, we noticed that the dogs were banging around in some of the junk we've got on our front veranda and I couldn't quite figure out why until one day uh, this little hen jumped out from between these two boxes and went flying off the veranda when we had a look in there was probably about half a dozen eggs where she'd made a little nest on our veranda uh, we tried to encourage her to come back but she didn't and uh, so we sort of thought that was a bit of a shame but it's not much you can do about it and uh, a few weeks later I noticed when I went to get in my car that she had nested in again between a couple of boxes underneath my carport now I was a little bit terrified of running over her so uh, I moved the car out of the carport without disturbing her and then left my lovely old car parked in the driveway for two weeks I really don't like doing that leaving it out in the open but uh, after about two weeks I kind of despaired and thought that uh, the eggs probably wouldn't hatch maybe they weren't fertilized or something like that and so I very very carefully moved the car back under the carport without disturbing this poor little hen and kind of felt sorry for her sitting on eggs that weren't going to go anywhere sure enough two days later I'm walking past the carport and what you see on the video is what I saw uh, several of her eggs had hatched and she was sitting on the other side of the car just in the dirt and uh, all these little chicks were sitting there and I rushed back inside and got the camera and she waited for me and eventually as you can see the chicks uh, find their way underneath mum and sort of sit there out of the way so nobody can see them uh, they're not very big these uh, chooks they're bantams so they're quite small so I'm not quite sure how she managed to get all the chicks to fit underneath her but it was pretty cool that she waited for me to go and get the camera and I instantly went and told the next door neighbours that one of their chooks had roosted on our property not that I care I, I love having them around I think it's way cool but we also have some irresponsible people who let their cats wander around at night time in this lovely area. Um, human beings can be quite brainless sometimes. They never think their cats do any damage. Uh, so I didn't want the mum and the chicks to get taken out. So I suggested that they might want to move them back and, and um, put them in their chook pen where they'd be safe. But I said they were more than happy to leave them there if they wanted to. So very late that night, the guy must have got home from work very late, there's, there's these torches coming up my driveway and this little rescue party comes and scoops up this chook and these little chicks and takes them back home. They get through the fence and they, as you can imagine there's a lot of chooks and uh, it only takes a couple of chooks to eat all the bugs etc in somebody's backyard and they have extended into our yard quite successfully and I love it because they eat all the all the uh, the weeds and they have a great time and it's kind of nice just having them around so uh, yeah um, they're good for the garden and I like having them as well and sometimes if you listen in the background to some of my recordings if I'm outside you can hear the chooks cackling away in the background so uh, that's basically what this little piece of video is about just one of those fortuitous little moments it happened a little while ago but I only just refound the video so I hope you enjoy mm -hmm.